it's Danielle over at DIYDanielle.com. We are going to talk about snaps today and using snap pliers. Um, I have been using these since I started sewing and that's only because I started with cloth diapers. So it never occurred to me that people might be a little intimidated by them, but apparently they are. So I wanted to go over real quick how to use these and show you how simple it is. All right, so there's a few different tools you're gonna need when you put snaps on. You're gonna need your snap pliers. Um, these are cam snaps. They um, are an online business. I don't believe they sell their products in stores. And their snap pliers fit with um, their snaps. And I believe they might be different. Um, not all brands are all the same, so you might need um, to buy within your brand. I'm not 100% on that one. I have only used their snaps because they are kind of the standard for who to use for cloth diapering snaps. Um, and their snap players have lasted me a really long time, so I haven't had an opportunity or a need to change. So, <clears throat> okay, so you have your snaps, you have your snap pliers, you want a pair of scissors. I like to use a pair of scissors that I don't um, have a particular attachment to. Um, I don't recommend using your fabric sewing scissors for this. And um, with my um, pliers, I also have something called an awl. This awl helps poke holes through the fabric where your um, where your snap is going to go. So, just to give you an idea about what you have for your snaps, is we have a couple different kinds. And let's see here. Let's see. So, as you can see, these all look a little different. Okay, this is a socket. Um, I've heard this referred to as the female portion of the snap. This socket will also need a cap to be installed. And the cap is the pointy, the pointy side. So the fabric, this goes in, in through the fabric and this goes on the other side of the fabric and they go together like this. And that's how they form an attachment with your with your pliers. And we'll get into how to install those in a minute, but I'm gonna talk, this is, um, this is the stud, and um, this is some, sometimes referred to as the male portion of the snap, and this also needs to be matched with a cap. Different snaps have different length. Um, different length prongs. And depending on how long you need yours to be, like how many layers of fabric they're gonna be going through, you're going to need a different size. I use a pretty standard size that's used for a cloth diapering, and it works just fine for everything else that I've had to do with it for the most part. So when you are putting your snaps on, they sit together where you have your cap and either your stud or your um, socket on top and your fabric would of course be sandwiched in between and you just take your snap pliers and you squeeze really hard so you get a good connection. Now the prong from the, the cap is now smushed over the inside of the um, inside of the uh, cap socket socket sorry um, and in this case it doesn't look very good and the reason for that is because the prong was too long for the thickness of the fabric that we had in this which is no fabric at all so ideally if we have one that's a little too long we would snip the ends of our um, the prong just to shorten it and then it would give us a little bit of a smoother um, it would flatten better that's that's the way I wanted to say it but you don't want it too short either because if it's too short um, it won't um, hold on and it'll flop off I guess so 
that is the basics of how to install it. So let me show you how we do this in action. Okay. So when I'm getting ready to install my snaps, the first thing I'm going to do is mark snap placement on whatever I'm putting snaps on. In this case, I'm putting snaps on a baby romper. And I've already marked where all my snaps are going to go with a um, erasable like chalk thing. So, and um, in this case, it actually goes. sort of stabilizer back here and that's true of a lot of things in sewing um, so yeah don't forget that if you don't it has the potential after all that wear and tear of being pulled off and on like that it has the potential for the snap to pull all the way through the fabric ripping it and I've had this happen because I forgot to um, reinforce snaps on a cloth diaper once and it definitely pulls through and it's not really that possible to fix nicely once it happens because there it's really ugly <laughs> so here it is I'm gonna go to the center point and I'm just poking my awl right through now sometimes I can use the prong on my um, on my snap to poke through but uh, this works just fine too the awl's a little easier and technically how you're supposed to do it so as you can see I poked it through the fabric I'm going to take that and snip off the very, very end of it, and I'm going to put on my stud. Now I just go under like this, and I'm going to squeeze. And I just look real close and make sure that it's on well. Okay, and that leaves me with my first one finished. Just double check my placement, make sure it's over it, and I'm going to go to the lower one. Use my awl to poke through. There's my cap at the top, and now because this is the opposite side and I want them to be able to snap together, I am going to use a socket. Okay, here I am squeezing. Snap. Snap. As you can tell, this um, actually produces a lot of wear and tear on your fabric if you don't have the stabilizer in there, which my stabilizer was really thin and I was kind of worried about, but hopefully it'll work out okay. I'm not used to doing these on clothing, I'm used to doing them on diapers, which I reinforce with pole, which is way thicker. Now, typically, you would use, um, you would do all um, the same on one side and all the same on the other. I'm actually going to swap back and forth because um, that way I can't accidentally line up these wrong. So, just to show you what I did is for the inside I used a stud and then a socket. And for this I used a stud and then a socket. So it alternates. Now if I alternate it, that means that I can't snap the baby's outfit on the wrong snaps very easily. It's a lot easier to keep from, from messing up your snaps that way when you're snapping them on the baby. 
So, just an idea. Um, hope this video was helpful and um, kind of took some of the fear out of using snaps. Again, they're really easy. Have fun. Have a great day. Make sure to subscribe and I hope to um, see some comments, guys. Feel free to um, leave a picture of your projects. Um, I'm not sure if you can leave them on YouTube, but you can leave them on my blog, DIYDanielle.com. And uh, thanks so much. Take care. Bye.